rehash some of the old stuff. All I can tell you is 5048 GK, thumbs up, going on a year and a half, no problem. Okay, welcome back to my channel. Uh, what can I tell you? It's been a while since I put out a video. Uh, I've been working on a lot of different things because I am stuck in the house thanks to COVID. Uh, so for all of you guys that are wondering what happened, yeah, uh, I haven't been able to fly, so I haven't been able to get to my farm. I haven't been able to basically check on my equipment that is powering my irrigation system. So I'm stuck here on another island. I'm in the Philippines. Uh, but anyway, before we get started, let me just uh, give you the disclaimer thing so this, this thing will scroll and I'll be right back. Okay, once again, welcome back to my channel. I've been away. Uh, I've been working on my truck. Um, <laughs> rebuilt the engine. Uh, there was basically nothing else for me to do because, uh, uh, quite frankly, I've been stuck in the house um, for the last several months. Maybe close to nine, since February. In any case, <clears throat> the last time I did, I'm sorry for all the noise, I'm, I'm outside kind of hot inside but anyway um, the, the 5048 GK it's a 5048 GK by MPP Solar uh, I installed it in April of 2019 it is now a year and a half and unfortunately again I can't sit here and tell you that I've been hands-on with it for for a year and a half uh, the last time I saw it was basically seven months ago so the good thing I can tell you is that I haven't been hands-on and neither of my employees so essentially the system is working without any maintenance um, I check with my employee every once in a while I've got to call them up <clears throat> and figure out how my farm is doing um, and of course I ask about the 5048 GK it's connected to about two, two kilowatts of Trina panels, which I did a review on if you want to check that out on my channel. Um, the 5048 GK has been running without a hitch. It just works. That's the only thing I can say about it. Um, before I left, thank goodness, I, you know, I checked it and everything else. I made sure that all of the parameters were correct, that the, the programming for it was correct. Um, I wanted it to run a, a particular way so that I wouldn't have any issues. It just runs. That's all I can tell you. Uh, so for the 5048 GK, thumbs up. It's it's just a die-hard piece of machinery. Um, what can I say about it? I paid about $400 for it. I think the price has gone up a little bit. MPP is actually on the way up. I mean, they're doing pretty good. I mean, for all the guys, the naysayers about MPP, I gotta tell you, man, it works. It runs three to four pumps that I have. Um, I wanted to put more. I wanted to max out my solar panels so that I can take advantage of the, the full five kilowatts. It's, it's been a headache. I'm sure everybody in the world is feeling the same way. It's, it's just, it's ridiculous. Uh, the reality is for the 5048 GK, the two kilowatts that are on there, when it's full sunlight, it's going to take advantage of about 90 to 95 percent of what you have on the roof or what you have as solar panels. So, as far as efficiency, I say it's pretty good. Um, durability, like I said, it's I haven't touched that sucker in since seven months, eight months ago, and no one's maintaining it because none of my employees know how to do anything with the with the inverter and it's it's just been running uh, what else can I say about it it's small it was easy to easy to install uh, I really questioned for a while whether it could handle five kilowatts going through it but even you know when it has to use when when I say I have three or four pumps running and I'm, I'm, I'm hitting around four kilowatts of use it, it's going to supplement the grid 
for the rest of the two kilowatts that are there and everything runs without a hitch. Uh, there's no switching that I have to do. There's none of that stuff like the, the old days. It just automatically does it by itself. It gives me solar when I need it. It charges the batteries. They're, you know, I know that the 5048 GK is supposed to run without batteries. I don't recommend it. But like right now, there's clouds in the sky. If you are familiar with cloud edge effect and some electronics, you know that turning it on and off randomly is going to eventually fry something. It's just, it's just not good for the system, turning it on and off. What I would do is you know, put the smallest amount of batteries that you have on there just to get the, the 48 volts that you need. Um, you know, I mean, they, they got small car batteries. I, I might even use like uh, motorcycle batteries, whatever is the cheapest. What I put on there is gel batteries specific or lead acid batteries specifically made for solar. Um, and they work. I mean, I don't know how long they last. I, I run some lights at nighttime. It runs pretty much throughout the entire night because I only have like uh, I think one one watt or I'm sorry uh, 100 watts 100 watts of, of lighting that in just a small area uh, so for the backup lighting or for the backup electricity for the lights it works flawlessly it, it, it knows when to use the battery and if the battery runs out then it's gonna go and hit the grid so I've got it running as solar first, battery next, grid is the last. And it does all of this seamlessly. So again, for the MPP Solar 5048 GK, thumbs up. Um, I haven't had to maintain it, I'm, I'm not able to, and it is just working. Uh, according to my employees there, you know, when the sun's really bright, it just runs those pumps like like it's nothing. And you, you gotta have some pumps to run some water through the system um, and when all of them are on yeah I'm, I'm pushing maybe five kilowatts and the machine just handles it now again I only have two kilowatts of panels on the roof so the rest of the three is gonna have to come from from the grid but for the most part if I'm only run, running one or two uh, pumps and we're talking it's running maybe 1.7 kilowatts all that's free. So in any case, uh, if you enjoyed this vid video, please like and subscribe. You know, I mean, um, other than farming, I, I don't make any money doing this. I don't do this for MPP. I, there's, I don't have any sponsorships. I don't have any of that stuff. I do this. I started doing it actually just to record, you know, what I've done on the work that I've done on solar so I can remember what I did. And it's, you know, I hate to say it, but it's kind of free free memory for you know saving your video files I know it sounds terrible right but um, the more I got into it people started asking questions if you have questions put them on the comments below and, and uh, I'll see if I can answer I, I don't I'm not and I do have a background in, in, in engineering somewhat um, I worked for the DOD a long time ago and uh, you know, research and development, but that's a long time ago. So, technology has changed. Solar's a lot better than it used to be. Despite what people say, solar does work. Um, you just have to know what you're getting into because there's a couple of different ways to set it up. And I have other videos that show that as well. So, um, if you have questions, please like and subscribe. Put them on the comments below and I'll, I'll see what I can do. With that, all of you guys stay safe. Um, I'm stuck, I hope you're not, uh, but I'm stuck, I, I can't move, I can't fly, there's a curfew by 7 p.m., so this is all you're going to get for now, and I apologize for all my new subscribers, welcome aboard, um, and again, if you have questions, please comment, I don't know what else to say, um, I wish I could get to my farm, really look over the system, send you some more new videos on it um, I'm not even gonna put the old videos on here just cuz you've seen them before <clears throat> and uh, I don't want to rehash some of the old stuff all I can tell you is 5048 GK thumbs up going on a year and a half no problems and uh, there you go have a good one